All right, boys and girls, we're up to chapter 16. Our headline says, digging in the dark could mean big trouble. Mom and dad looked discouraged when they came into the kitchen where the twins, no less discouraged, were sitting at the table. It was a terrible mess, mom said reproachfully. Dad went through to the living room without even looking at the twins. We didn't do it, Mom, Kelly said, feeling close to tears. I want to believe you, Kelly, Mom said, but it's very hard. I want to believe someone else, someone from outside, has been doing all those things. But how can I when some of what's happened has happened inside the house? Mom, said James, do you believe in ghosts? Because Kelly and I... Kelly kicked him under the table. Really and truly, James, Mom said, that's going too far. No, I do not believe in ghosts. And I do believe in people being honest and taking the blame when they do something wrong. Not to mention apologizing and taking their punishment. Yes, yeah, said Kelly, but aren't people supposed to be innocent until they're proven guilty? Mom sighed. <sighs> nice try, Kelly, but in this situation, I think you're going to have to prove your innocence. And she left the kitchen. Kelly and James sat there, slumped glumly in their chairs. We've got to think of something, James said. I know. I mean, Kelly, face it. We don't really know Francis Smith's grave is where the shed is, and... Kelly straightened up. Wait! Top of the second column. Wait, James, she exclaimed. I've got it. Got what? Mom and Dad may not believe in ghosts, but I believe, but I bet they believe you shouldn't mess up people's graves, especially Revolutionary War ones. So if we can prove the graves where we think it is, maybe they'll agree to move the shed. And then maybe the weird stuff will stop and they'll know we're innocent. Yeah, okay, but how are we going to find Francis's grave? We're going to dig for it. I figured that, Kelly, but how are we going to dig for it? Mom and Dad will see us and make us stop. They'll probably ground us forever, too. Or Sam will see us and make us stop and he'll tell Mom and Dad. We'll just have to dig at night. There's no other way. And we've got to do it fast before they pour the concrete for the floor. Imagine what Francis will do if that happens. Dinner was a dismal affair with everyone trying unsuccessfully to make polite conversation. Even Corey seemed out of sorts. And when he spilled milk all over his high chair tray, mom looked as if she was going to burst into tears. After supper, James suggested Monopoly, but Mom and Dad both said they'd rather watch TV. Kelly was glad when it was time for bed. I'll come get you, she told James as they went into their respective rooms, top of the third column. Kelly lay awake, listening for Mom and Dad get ready, listening to Mom and Dad get ready for bed. Then she read till she was sure they were asleep, and finally she woke James. Together, they crept down the stairs and took flashlights from the hall table. Trying to make as little noise as possible, they went in through the outside basement door and carefully took two shovels from the pile of garden tools in one corner. When they were outdoors again, they went over to the construction site and Kelly set the flashlights back to back on the left-hand corner of the foundation wall. You dig outside and I'll dig inside, she said, jumping into the hole. And for the next half hour or so, the only sound was the scraping of their shovels and an occasional clank when a shovel hit a rock. Then Kelly's shovel hit something that made a dullish thud. She moved her shovel as far as she could toward the wall and dug again. Thud. James, she said, hardly daring to believe what she might have found. Dig over here. No, look, on a line with my shovel. She held her breath while he made his hole as deep as hers. Thud. Whoa, exclaimed James. 
That's no rock. Right. And I've got the same thing too on my side. Let's scrape the dirt away. There was a sudden burst of light. And Kelly looked up to see Dad striding toward them, fury written all over his face. All right, boys and girls, our next chapter is Doom. Answer your questions. Use the text to look for evidence.